Hey folks, and welcome to Reality Check. Now, has anything like this ever happened to you? Hey Rob. Hey. Game of Hearthstone? Sure. So, are we playing? Let's do it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Rob. Hacks. So Rob insists he's just played a lot of the game and is much better than me and that I should stop being a whiny little... Well, perhaps he's right. Or maybe he's using cheat bots. So, to help me find out the truth, and then hopefully rub that truth all over Rob's stupid cheating face, I recruited malware researcher Chris Boyd, aka Paper Ghost, to advise me. So, I started by asking him to explain to me exactly what cheat bots are and how they work. Cheatbots have been around for a long, long time in gaming. Anywhere there's an online environment where people are competing or trying to win, there will be bots. And there are generally two types of bots. There are the, the so-called cheat bots, typically prevalent in first-person shooters. There will be wall hacks, there will be aim bots, there will be cheats where people can see through the scenery, uh, clip through the scenery, uh, so-called god mode. And then on the other side of the fence, there's financial and monetary gain. So massively multiplayer games like World of Warcraft, EVE Online, you get these so-called gold farmers. They will mine uh, the high-level items in the game uh, and they will try and sell these items for real cash. So how can we, as players, go about spotting these cheat bots? Uh, so World of Warcraft, there are certain signs that you're, you're actually in the presence of a bot. So you can try and talk to the bot or send an emote, it won't respond. Um, they, will, they will perform very bizarre actions in the game, they will sort of stumble around almost as if they're drunk um, and you can stand there and watch these things for hours at a time while you're, you're farming yourself legitimately. They will wear certain types of armour, they will perform certain types of tasks in game. Um, but, but again, some of these might just be signs of someone that just wants to get on with their, their, their own legit farming. They might not be talking to you because they want to get on with what they're doing. Or maybe they're drunk. But it's quite possible, yeah. Okay, time to get specific about Hearthstone. Is Rob cheating me or not? And how can I tell? Uh, surprisingly, we find that a lot of the bots in uh, Hearthstone aren't always playing to win. They're, they're playing to be as fast as they can possibly be in the matches. So the aim isn't to win, the aim is to play through as many matches as possible on the basis that the quicker they can get through all of these individual matches, the more matches they will eventually win. So you will find that they, they stack their decks to be very fast or very aggressive. Okay, fine, so Rob probably isn't cheating me. But for those people who do, why do they do it? Now, with the gold farmers mentioned earlier, sure, there is a financial aspect with the selling of rare items. But according to Chris, money is not the main reason people turn to cheat bots. There is an aspect of you know being the best uh, without having to put the work in, but there are people who are just very, very opposed to any sort of grind aspect of any title. Because um, so many games, if you're going to play it online, if you're going to play against other people, there's only so much content that you can possibly get through in a, in a space of weeks or months. But there, there is a financial incentive, but a lot of people, especially in first-person shooters, they just want to win. But what if you play on PS4 or Xbox One or any console for that matter? Can these bot makers get their code running on these machines too? Um, it's very difficult because um, the, the console is a, a closed sort of environment. It's very hard to get road code running on on a, a so-called legit console. It's a, it's a lot easier to compromise and tamper a PC. With all these things, whether it's bots, whether it's malware, whether it's phishing or social engineering, it's always the path of least resistance. So if it's, if it's a lot more easier to go off and target someone on these, these more open platforms than this sort of closed loop technology that, that exists on these games consoles, you're going to go with PC. So, how much of a problem are these cheat bots for the industry? And how are the publishers combating them and bringing the fight to the people who make them? Well, that's exactly what part two of this cheat bot special is going to be all about. And you'll be able to watch that the week after next. Until then, I'd love to hear about your thoughts and experiences with cheat bots. You can leave me a comment in the box below, or of course, there's always Twitter, and I'm at CamFrazRob. Next episode is going to be all about the science of the Order 1886, so expect werewolves, electricity guns and Nikola Tesla. I'll see you then.